Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. Let's continue the MS Excel VBA code tutorial series. Now in this video tutorial, I will explain how to delete entire column dynamically. A user selected column dynamically I want to delete in VBA code using user file. So let's start the tutorial. And here we got the final output. Notice here we got right now we got four columns employee number, employee name, salary, and department. And if you check the combo box contains the heading names employee number, employee name, salary, and department. Now I want to delete the employee name column from this worksheet. Click delete. Notice here the employee name has been deleted successfully. If you want to delete some uh, department, click deleted the department employee number the last one is salary if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates notice that my excel sheet contains some data employee data four columns i have employee number employee name salary and department now my aim is i want to delete particular uh, the user selected column for example if the user wants to delete the department select the department to delete this department column permanently or if the user wants to delete the employee number he can delete so at runtime they can choose the column columns to delete automatically or dynamically so let's start the coding part to write a VB code, go to developer and a developer code Visual Basic. Click that one. And here we got the Microsoft Visual Basic for applications. And now we require one user forum. For that, go to insert click user forum. Here we got the user forum. Let me expand this user forum a little bit. And now in the user forum, I will add one combo box from this toolbox. Select the combo box and add here. And here we got the combo box. Now, before uh, what we'll do is we'll run this example, and here we got the output with the combo box. Right now, this combo box is totally empty. Now, my first aim is I want to add these headings of this uh, table: employee number, employee name, salary, and department to this combo box. So let's add or populate these headings into this combo box close this user forum window set the user forum right click the mouse go to view code and here we got the user forum underscore quick event which is a default event but i require the initialize event so delete this default quick event from this code here i'm adding user form underscore initialize combo box one dot value is equals to application application dot transpose transpose here I'm using the transpose method because I'm adding the rows not columns now we require the range of this rows a1 column d1 and notice here I'm adding value value a1 column d1 because I have four columns so I'm adding a1 to d1 if you have more columns you can add more columns according to your requirement after that let's check the output I could not set the value properly type mismatch combo it's not value it's a list combo box dot list I'm creating the list of this uh, column names no so now let's check the output and here we got our first output which contains the headings of this table in this combo box employee number employee name salary and department now my next target is i will add one button control that button control contains the code to delete the selected column name of this combo box if suppose if the user wants to delete the employee name Click the button counter, it will delete the employee name column permanently. So let's add one button control. I'm adding one command button 
and this command button I'm adding to delete selected column selected column selected column and now here we got the selected column double click the button control here we got the button command button one underscore click event now here the main coding part is first we need to set first i need to get all the columns uh, delete columns delete columns is equals to range the range i require range a1 to d1 we don't require the value property here just i'm adding the range the column range after that i'm using for each loop i require the object of this uh, del column so i'm adding the heading name heading name in del column del column then if condition if heading name dot value is equals to the column heading name i'm comparing with this combo box value combo box one dot value then then heading name dot entire column i want to delete entire column dot delete and i am adding next to close the for loop after that i am adding combo box one dot value is empty so once we deleted the combo box column name i don't want to appear that column name the deleted co column name in this combo box list so the updated data i want to bind into this combo box list one uh, that's it i think is everything is correct now let's check the final output i'm running this application and here we've got the final output notice here we got right now we got four columns employee number employee name salary and department and if you check the combo box contains the heading names employee number employee name salary and department now i want to delete the employee name column from this worksheet click delete notice here the employee name has been deleted successfully if you want to delete some uh, department click deleted the department employee number the last one is salary see in this video tutorial i have explained how to delete the dynamically the selected column from a worksheet using vba code thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel catch you in my next video tutorial